Well, I'm here at our facility, and as you can see behind me, we have the Universal Rock Decor, and there's actually some on the other side of the room too from when we unloaded it or untrucked in that video. And we have so many more updates to show you in today's video, so let's get started. <music> door gone? Aww, no more jankily locked door with a 2x4. Sap all over me from doing the trees today. I'm so sticky. I found our door. Oh, there it is. Goodbye, huh. door. Goodbye. We used you never. Yeah, really. Today is a huge day, guys. The enclosures are getting framed today, or at least they're starting to frame it. We have our friends from JSA Reptiles along with his buddies here building the skeletons essentially of the enclosures. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. So far we have retic enclosure, Burmese python enclosure, maybe big monitor enclosure. And these are like eight by eight by eight, nine, something like that. And this is gonna be a hallway to access that enclosure and Rex's corner. This is all gonna be Rex's room. And down here, this is gonna be the beginning of the tunnel that goes into Rex's room around her pool and then back out on this side. So, oh, things are happening, guys. Oh my gosh. While all these are getting framed, I'll show you kind of what I'm working on back here. Ed says hi. This is the classroom. And as you can see, it's now green and gray. We let the Patreon backers kind of choose what colors they thought would look nice in here. And we also agreed that the uh, contrast between green, which that's really bright on camera. It's actually much more of like a, a light spring green than that. I wonder like, Nope, it's still bright on there too, I swear. It's just, it looks like really bright green on camera, but it's not like that. But then we have a gray here and they look really good together. So I'm excited with how this classroom slash party room is turning out. We still don't have a front door. That is getting replaced in a couple of days with the new ones. And uh, yeah, now what I'm working on next is this wall over here. I'm just kind of working on clearing up all the brick here. Cause uh, I don't mind the brick look. I just think it would look better if it was painted, but what the heck is all of this stuff? Other than gross. Like, this is as gross as one of Rex's poops. Looks like a bull snake painted in here. Ew. This is as gross as a heat rock. Oh, there's like an old school nail here. Whoa. Oh, there's that window that we uh, discovered and then covered up again. Goodbye window. Goodbye you window. Served a purpose for a while, and now you are gone. I have to pay respects. What is with this random screw in the wall? It doesn't come out. Can I just push it in? There. Oh man, there's another one. Like, what were you used for? And why don't you come out of the wall? I can't even like unscrew it because it's not really attached to anything back there except for whatever back piece is there. So how am I going to take this out? Huh, even the sledgehammer it doesn't work. Huh, so we're getting our new holes for the sign. This is not but, film worthy. But it looks like there's somebody stepped in that. I wonder who that could be. I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so Emily stepped in cement. <laughs> Goodbye. Whoa, here's our new panel. Oh my gosh, there are so many switches. The old one is back here. Yep, so look have, at that. We have this one, we have this one, we have this one. Yep. And there's also another, there's a fuse one back here somewhere that so. he said he found. So all those are gonna be pretty much torn out in a couple days and replaced with this beautiful thing. Oh my gosh, it's all gonna be on one unit. I just wanna click them all. Oh my gosh, ha, ha, all the buttons everywhere. Well, I think we're all done for today. They got quite a few of the enclosures done. I got some painting done, so we're gonna call it good. Whoa, whoa! What? We have an exit sign, and it's lit up. Lowe's in here. Whoa, when what did are... they put that in? I don't even, I've been working and walking around back here quite a bit, and I didn't notice that once. I didn't either. It's huh. so beautiful. 
Here's what uh, Joe from JSA and his contractor buddies were able to do today. Rex's is open for now, but that's the beginning of the tunnel that's going to go in here enclosure. And this is going to be like a monitor enclosure. This is Ed's enclosure. And this is going to be a retic, we believe. And uh, we haven't done the, or they haven't done the corner green tree python enclosure yet. And then we have big one for maybe Argentine boas we're thinking about getting. And then this is actually going to be tweaked a little bit. We had to talk about it. Uh, it's going to be tweaked, split in half. So that's going to be raised. And we're going to have two big monitors, big, well, medium sized monitors, one in each one. And that's going to be our anaconda cage. So yeah, they're, they're really moving along. This was all just done in one day. Day, and I can't believe how good they look. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, and before we leave for the day, look at the beautiful new fence. Oh, it all matches now. This is amazing. And best part, we have a gate there so we can open it up during the winter. Actually, we should open that up now so that when the snow plow comes and clears out the parking lot, they can just push all the snow through the doors onto the other side. We also own that. We're not pushing it into a neighbor's yard or something. But yeah, that'll take care of our snow accumulation problem over the winter. It is the start of week two for framing the enclosures and all of the uh, framers just went out for lunch. So we have a, a quick moment here to give you an update. As you can see, there are more and more enclosures getting framed, and I, we are just so excited with how they look. This is going to be a double hive. Those ones will be like bull snake enclosures back there? Yeah, look at this! They are going to love this! I am so excited! Yep. The noise that's going on is we currently don't have electricity in the building because the panel's being replaced, so we have no heat. Yeah. So that little guy is our heater right now. It, it's a good little heater. Yeah, too. it works. Yeah, and we have temporary lights hooked up to a generator right now, so it's a little dark in here, but... I mean, it gets the job done. It works. It they works. don't seem to be complaining. Yeah, we have the bathrooms that are getting remodeled uh, moving forward, too. Should we yeah. show them that? Sure, we can try and show them that. So again, there's no electricity in the building because the electric panel's getting replaced right now, but... Here is the current progress in the bathroom. Look at the tiles! Oh my gosh! Since these bathrooms are kind of offshoots from the cave hallway with the inverts, we decided to make the bathrooms cave themed too. So we have the tiles on the floor, this gray color, and then the tiles on the wall are a darker gray, and then we're gonna do black partitions in between the stalls. So it's gonna look so cool in here, I'm so excited. This is the men's bathroom, it's been grouted. The women's bathroom has just been tiled, not grouted, so we can't go in there yet, but you can really see how it's coming together. Yeah, so it's exciting. exciting. Mm -hmm. This is the electrical room uh, that Look, it was, has no ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling's out right now. There's gonna be a light in there too, but again, no electricity today. But remember that big panel we showed you with all the switches? This is where it's going. This is the box. Yeah. That's so how much power we need, apparently, I guess. For a reptile zoo. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense with all the heating lights and elements. Yeah. That's gonna be full of switches. Unfortunately, though, a wrong piece or something got ordered I think or- wrong, I think wrong breakers got ordered. Yeah, it seems like every step forward is a half a step back with this entire project. So this is taking a little bit longer and <laughs> therefore we can't have electricity for a little bit longer than expected, but we're getting there. Yeah, it's slowly moving. Yep. Speaking of taking half steps back, this is more like a full step back that we discovered a few days ago. The uh, furnaces in the ceiling in both the retail area and in the oh, zoo. Where is it? There it is. There right, it is. Right there. Yep, that one. Our inspector before we bought the building said it was fine or they were fine, but then we just discovered one of them leaks CO2, I believe. Yep, it's and got a cracked heat condenser or heat coil. Yeah, something or whatever just it is. cracked and then the other one just doesn't work at all. It just went to poop throughout the summer and doesn't work at all for the winter. So that's been a major setback and it's yeah, gonna guess, be an expensive fix. I guess we'll have to add on to the business loan with that. Yeah, I think we will, unfortunately. But at least we'll have all new furnaces, I guess. Yeah, then we don't have to worry about furnaces for a while. Yeah. We're trying to look at silver linings. Yeah, exactly. And they'll be more efficient. They will be. There we yeah, go. so there we go. Oh my gosh, we came in here. Today is day two of weekend two for framing the enclosures. They're working on plywood and they're really starting to take shape. We won't be here very long, just long enough to give you a quick update on how it's going, but you've got to check out these enclosures. Here, I'll hand the camera to you. Okay. Look at this, guys. They look like enclosures. Oh my gosh. That is freaking huge. Look at this. 
We've got a couple that are double high. Oh, this is a ginormous box. I don't even know what we're gonna put in here. Oh, oh my gosh, so excited. <laughs> they're people sized. Yeah, they're people sized. <laughs> <laughs> We've come a long way in the last week. It is so exciting to finally see some results where we can actually visualize what the zoo is going to look like. And this is all thanks to our friends at JSA Reptiles helping us with the framework and the plywood. Look at all of the enclosures they've built. This is incredible. It's awesome. It's actually starting to take shape. And I mean, these are huge enclosures. Like I knew they'd be big, but they're Seeing them in person is really cool and I cannot wait until we can get some snakes in some of these. This will be an enclosure for like, it'll either be for a Woma python or a black-headed python or maybe our legless lizards, the one I'm sitting in right now. So there's, they're gonna have fun. You know what they remind me of? They remind me of those really little like Japanese apartments. Oh yeah! Huh? Should we take a look around? Sure. Alright. There we go. Yeah, just have to jump. I guess. So yeah, these are all... We could put a twin mattress in here, and I could sleep in there. Yeah, you could just that lay could with the, the snakes. It'd be the Emily enclosure. Yeah, you could just don't tap on the glass because you'll scare her. Yeah, fill it, with, <laughs> fill it with chocolate and coffee, and I'll be good. I guess we'll just kind of walk through here, and here's just more enclosures. These are yeah. really big. This one, yeah, they could have cut it off at about, like, I think this point, somewhere in here. We had an extra three feet. And then there's an extra three feet that is like, well, we'll just add it to, we'll just make really big enclosures. Yeah, so I don't know what's gonna go in here now. I think the plan was false water cobras and bull snakes or something yeah. like that, or well, a false water cobra. Bull snakes might fit better in there, so we might have to put maybe a monitor or something oh, in here. We could look at a, like a rescue monitor, yeah. something that needs a new home. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Uh, then here, this was kind of an impromptu thing. We have little bitty cages here, mm -hmm. which are super cute. I don't know what's gonna go in there. This is gonna be our kind of native to Minnesota area snakes. So maybe we could do hognose, eastern, western hognose, or plains maybe. eastern. And then that leaves us with this whole wall right here, which we want to do something that's educational and engaging with people who are walking through, just to kind of break up the monotony of all the enclosures. So what I want to do, I think Ed wants to do something slightly different, but at least one idea is a big cork board with a world map with pins that says, where are you from? And you can place a pin on where you're from because people should be maybe coming from different places. So I think it'd be cool to see where all of our visitors come from. Another idea is just educational signs, maybe. Yeah. And we have some other ideas too. Yeah, there's some ideas in We the... don't want to give away everything. Exactly. <laughs> so moving down over here. And we got these guys. I wonder what that, there's a hole here. Oh. I wonder what that goes to. I don't know. Yeah. It's a window for. Oh, you know what? That was where the thermostat was. Oh, that's weird. We'll worry about that later. Yep. Uh, and then, yeah. There's that window. <laughs> so yeah, another enclosure here. This is for something big. I don't know what's gonna go in here. In yep. either of these, but we'll figure it out. These two though, may, do we want to tell them what we want to put in these? Mm, no. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. These are gonna have some big things. Not big as in like big, but, but something exciting. something we don't own yet. Yes. But we're really excited for what's going in here. Yeah, Your both clue of these. is that, again, this whole wall is gonna be Minnesota native species. Yep. That's all you get. And then over here, this is gonna be our cave, our invert cave, as you all are familiar with. And then moving right along, this is a really cool enclosure that they framed up today. I really like how it looks. Yeah, we had to work around this. Uh, yeah, we can't get yeah. rid of that. That's a support theme. Unless support. we want this entire side to come down, we couldn't yeah. get rid of that, so. But we figure we'll just take this and we'll wrap it with like bark textured paneling so it'll become a tree. And then Ed's great idea for this one was that we can have glass on this side and glass on this side. So you can look into the enclosure from either direction. So if they're hiding back here, you can see them back over here and this thing's not gonna be in the way. Exactly. This might be for, hmm, maybe monkey tail skinks? That or this one. I think that one is this gonna be monkey tail. Monkey tails. Like, at least two, because they're so social. Yeah. Um, so we'll put a couple monkey tails here, and we'll just think, think of something good in a, a vertically oriented enclosure for that one. A knolls. <laughs> yes. Just All green and knolls. Two green and knolls. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to find them. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? <laughs> but this one, this is Rex's future enclosure. And I am so stoked over this one, because this big gap right here is where her tank is going to be, which you saw in the previous video. And that means since the tank goes up to about here, 
the floor of her enclosure is actually going to be this level so she can just slide into her pool but then remember the tunnel we had been planning this whole time it is finally being implemented this is going to be either the entrance or the exit kids or adults because let's face it i'm going to be in the tunnel all the time can crawl all the way back here into the tunnel and then out here and this will be the exit to the tunnel but it gets better the back wall of the tank is going to be open so it's going to be a giant window so you can see kids in the tunnel through the water or underwater with rex and then we still have that like pop-up look inside of our enclosure right here so yeah you got winded just doing that presentation oh there my gosh. i'm really excited <laughs> and i'm out of shape i guess <laughs> anyway the last two enclosures are going to be for big snakes like a big retake and a big berm we're hoping and, and a monitor will... one of these big monitor big berm big retake something like that right and then to get into these last two enclosures though since we don't have a hallway in between them we'll have to do a glass door that you can open and then go in yep this is getting a little bit long so i don't think we're gonna complete the whole circle but you kind of get the idea there's still the whole anaconda wall over there and the green tree python enclosure but um we're gonna stop it here because i want to show you what today's project entails we're basically cutting very thin sheets of four by eight foot plastic that's gonna act as our waterproof pan. For this, we're going to attach them to the base of each enclosure, and we're going to build a four inch wall all the way around, and that'll make our four inch deep waterproof pan in case a reptile spills a water dish, or if we have a bioactive enclosure, it's not gonna leak through the wood and potentially cause mold in the future. So we're basically just protecting the base of the enclosures today, it's gonna be a big project today by making waterproof pans. This cage is two sheets are glued in. There's got to be a center strip and then the walls have to be up. This one over here is got the center piece in and it's all glued down. All we have to do is the outside four inches. So that's today's project. Yep. So mainly cutting and placing and then we're, I have to work tonight in two hours. So we have mm -hmm. just a little bit of time, yep. but we'll probably hopefully get all those ones cut. Maybe those ones and just, uh, I guess go from there. Okay, we're here for another day. I'm about to turn on the heaters because we don't have power in the building. Those are hooked up to a generator because they're actually working on the power in the building and it's been like this for two weeks. So that's been fun. But heaters, I wanted to show you guys this anaconda enclosure. The tank's gonna go there and secret tunnel. There's a secret tunnel that is in the anaconda enclosure. Oh my gosh, where does it go? Let's see goes back here and oh man it goes back there and it exits on the retail side of the building we're like behind where the checkout counter is gonna be let's see if i can zoom out here oh yeah it's really dark in here sorry let's just go back into the tunnel here I'm gonna turn around come back out and yeah, secret tunnel. secret tunnel. We're probably gonna have to cover it up with something. This is actually access to the filter that we're gonna have hooked up to the anaconda tank. It's gonna drain down in that corner into the filter and then I'm just gonna have to, or <laughs> a small enough employee, will crawl back here to do filter maintenance. But I think we have to use it as a tunnel somehow. And only you will know about it because we're gonna cover it up with a panel. Please don't crawl through this when you're here, guys. I ask you, please. <laughs> Remember the old welcome sign that was on top of the doors? Specifically that one? Well, uh, guess what we're working on today? Well, I say we, but the credit really all goes to Ed. He's been doing all the work. I'm just gonna help him lift it up. enclosure and as you can see it's coming along quite nicely. I'm sitting on the tunnel right now. So 
the tunnel is going to go in here and then it's going to go all the way back here. We're going to leave the back open so now you can kind of see how that's working visually now. And the tunnel will continue over there and exit through the side. So next we have to paint this base black and then put Rex's tank or pool in and then we're going to continue onward from there. The next video will be, uh, next update video will actually be the decorating process of all these amazing enclosures. We're starting that process here very soon, so expect another update here coming out relatively quickly. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on over here at the facility. As always, we'd like to thank our amazing Patreon supporters who allow us to do so much with our facility. And like, I don't know where we'd be without you guys. Thank you so much for all of your amazing contributions, as well as everyone who's here just watching our videos and supporting us with your time. Thank you, everybody. I look forward to showing you another update here at the facility, and we'll see you then. We'll go through the tunnel on the way out. <laughs> oh no, when I was painting the grid up there, I dripped right on the panel above Rex's room. No one will notice though, right? If you guys come in and you see it, just don't say anything and I'll pretend it doesn't exist.